What would happen if we put this tailor-made P790 8 iron in that loft and lime machine and really crank it up? Let's find out, and let's do it now. This could quite easily go in my bag. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, please make sure you don't leave before you do hit that subscribe button below. On this channel, I bring you guys golf related content every single day, hopefully to help you raise your game, mainly to help you lower that handicap, but generally just to get you enjoying golf loads more. In today's video, I'm testing this tailor-made P790, the 2019 edition. It is an eight iron. It is at 35 degrees of loft. I know this not only because it tells me so on the tailor-made website, but I've also already had it in the loft and lie machine. And I can tell you it is exactly 35 degrees of loft. But my thinking is, what if it wasn't 35 degrees of loft? What if it was 25 degrees of loft, 20 degrees of loft, 10 degrees of loft on an eight iron? How would that affect it? How would it fly? Would it fly? How far would it go? In this video, we're gonna find out I'm going to manipulate this P798 iron as much as I physically can. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's been a while since I... It's been a while since I used one of these loft and lime machines, so you may have to bear with me at certain points in this video, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how much difference altering the loft makes on this P790 iron. So guys, you might notice a bit of a difference in today's content. Today we are in the simulator at Woolley Park Golf Club. And I have got to say a huge thank you to the guys here at Woolley Park. It is an amazing setup. If you are just off the M1 or you're located near the M1, make sure you get down here and check it out because the simulator is fantastic. They've got an amazing golf course out there and the bar is pretty good as well. So first things first guys, let's see how far this tailor-made P798 iron goes at 35 degrees of loft. Then let's have some fun with it. I've already had a warm up, so we should be okay with that. Gotta say, if you've not tested these irons, they are pretty good. How far is that? 170 yards with an eight iron. And you see, this is exactly why I chose to use the P790. Obviously, if you are manipulating something, if you are putting in a loft and lie machine and wanting to crank the loft up, crank it down, alter the lie angles. If you want to see something where we alter the lie angles, make sure you stay tuned to the channel because there's some pretty fun content coming with that as well. Obviously, you have to have something that's soft. You have to have something that's forged. But for me as well, I want to see how far we can get this A time to go. And it already starts at 35 degrees of loft, which is kind of most seven iron lofts, really, isn't it? So it helps. Guys, I want you to hit those comments below. How much loft do you think we can take off this A iron? And how far could we possibly get it to go? So I'm going to hit you about half a dozen shots with this club before we do start playing with it and moving it. What's the average going to be? That was a little bit toey, so that's going to hurt the averages, but it felt awesome. One thing I have said over and over about these P790 irons is I could quite easily use these. I think there's not many golfers that wouldn't suit these irons. They just spun that a little bit more. But the forgiveness element is ridiculous. Imagine if I can crank this down to like 10 degrees of loft, nine and a half degrees of loft. Imagine having a driving iron with an A tiny shaft in there. Would that work? Could it work? Okay, last shot with the TaylorMade P790 35 degree A iron. Let's send one out there to remember. Let's finish the averages off. Then I'm going to talk you through the numbers, talk you through exactly how this A time performs at its standard loft. I'm going to start tinkering. We're going to start playing. I'm going to start by trying to take it down. In fact, I'll tell you in a second. Bottom me again. Got away with it, though, I think. So here we can see the numbers. As you can see, pretty impressive distances there all the way through, even the bad shots. A pretty kind of ridiculous really. We've got an average of one, 161 carry 172 total and a spin of 5,500 average. Which we already know is low. We know these irons are low spin. We've tested them to the nth degree. We know that they go a long way. So let's take this down a little. Let's take it from 35 degrees of loft to... I'm going to try and get it to 20 degrees of loft. Let's see just how much difference it makes. How much difference will the loft make 
in relation to the shaft length. So as I said earlier guys, it's been a while since I've had a play around with one of these things. I thought I could get it to go down again, there we go. So bear with me, but I'm going to bend this hopefully to around 20-25 degrees, then we're going to get back on the mat and then we're going to take it even further. Definitely needed to be up. Like an absolute pro. Sort of. That's as tight in there as you're going to go. Bending bar. So for anyone who's not done this before, the plates in this bending bar are made of brass. So it doesn't mark the club, so don't worry about that. So let's go. isn't as easy as it looks. Let's see what this comes out at. I'm going to go with the old visual test first. Already looks like a six iron. That's a good sign. So you do actually have to do an exam in this for the PGA and I don't know why guys, like I said it's been a while but it seems to be going quite well. <laughs> at all that effort and we're down to 30. Work to be done. Let's go again. Now we are talking. Right, definitely felt that move quite a lot. Where are we? <laughs> 15, yes you heard that right. 15 degrees of loft on this eight iron. How much difference is that going to make to the distance? And how much difference is it going to make to the dispersion as well? My three wood doesn't currently have 15 degrees of loft on it. Like I said, it's been a while since I used this machine. Now, the idea was to move this 10 degrees, maybe 15 degrees, get it down to around 20 degrees of loft. But unfortunately, I do have the touch of a raging elephant. So we now have it at 15 degrees of loft. I don't think we're going to get it in lower than that because that hosel isn't looking too healthy. Although I must say it has bent pretty well. I think the lie angle is still pretty standard looking at it. Take a look at this down at the golf ball for an 8 iron. Now first of all I would like to say that this is in the interest purely of fun and entertainment. So if you think this is ridiculous or you're not quite enjoying it, I do apologise but science is science and we have to see if these things work, right? Uh, sort of. So the average to be 161 carry, 172 total. I've got a feeling that the total isn't going to be an issue. Maybe the carry. Remember, it is still an eight iron shaft. This is going to be interesting. It feels very, very odd. Loads of offset as well, so this could go left. Yeah, the carry struggles a little bit, but we're going to have a few though. Now sometimes experiments go really well and you cannot believe the outcome. Other times it's a bit of an epic fail, but let's see if we can deviate the technique a little bit and actually get this to work. I'm not going to bother taking any more loft off it either. Right, how can I get this to work? There we go. Carrying is it? Go! Oh, it has. Oh, 209. Now we're warmed up. Let's see if we can get a slinging draw going with it. But it's not the easiest iron in the world to hit, definitely not. Not the easiest to shape either. And I'm not going to lie, it looks a tad odd. But, does it go further? I'm going to say yeah. This could quite easily go in my bag. Oh, that's the one. That is middle. Go. So I guess now is when you've got to ask yourself, would you play with this? It's going 220 yards-ish off the tee. We'll have a look at the averages in a second. Obviously, for all extensive purposes, as an eight iron, it is now redundant. There's no point. It's not going to work as an eight iron. It's no longer an eight iron, is it? The loft dictates it's a three wood, I suppose. But with this length of shaft, would it be the perfect club to help you out the trees or in the wind off the tee on a lynx course? Stinger City. Ah, oh, 
See, I don't even know how many I've hit now. We're just going to keep going because I'm really enjoying this. I mean, just check out that ball fly. With an eight iron. Well, sort of an eight iron. Stop it. Okay, okay, let's go one more and let's compare them. Just makes this stinger very, very easy actually. Plenty of consistent numbers there. Let's take a look at this 15 degree lofted 8 iron and compare it to its 35 degree predecessor. That sounded official, didn't it? So if you remember, we had an average of 161 carry 172 total, spinning at 5.5. Now, with this cranked up loft one, it took me a few shots to get used to it, a couple of real bad swings there, but actually after that, there were some real nice kind of stingers there looking all the way down. And if we go all the way down to have a look at the averages, 159 carry, 197 total, and the longest one's out there at 223, 194 carry. We've got an average spin, hmm, average spin of 1779, which albeit isn't ideal for an 8 iron, but in fairness, that is exactly what this series is about. It's about pushing the limits. It's about seeing what happens when you do get a 15 degree lofted 8 iron. It's about seeing what happens when you have a 0 degree lofted 1 iron. Yeah, that didn't really work either. But if you've ever sat there and thought, I wonder what would happen if... That's what this series is all about. That's what this video is about, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope you enjoy that content. If you have, make sure you leave us a like. If you haven't hit the subscribe button already, make sure you do. Huge thank you to the guys here at the simulator at Woolley Park Golf Club because it's an outstanding facility. I love coming here. The golf course is fantastic. The staff's fantastic. And this place is pretty cool as well. Guys, thanks for watching. If you do have any ideas that you would like to see me test, I don't care how outrageous they are. I don't care how ridiculous they are. Can't be much more ridiculous than this, can it? Guys, thanks again, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Stop it. Stop it.